Navisa Security Light is a solution for NAV delivered from uh, Microsoft and MerchTool.com uh, to a very large degree for free. So what is Navisa Security Light? It's a solution inside NAV to maintain the security NAV. It both has a rotated application, but it also has a classic client application. Um, there's a recorder built-in. It allows you to uh, record a table data permission into roles and you can also add related permission that will solve a lot of the issues that you normally would have by doing recording. You can combine permission from many roles into a single one so if you want to simplify the user assignment you can simply combine many roles into a single role. There's an export and import function for roles and permission making it very easy for a customer to move from a test to a live environment or for a partner to send updates to permissions directly to a customer works very similar to the FOB import of objects. You can copy and add multiple access controls with a wizard so instead of doing one at a time you can actually go in and select multiple uh, roles and multiple companies and it will add all those ones. Contains a feature called snapshots it basically saves off a lot of tables and uh, you can restore data from the snapshots later on or you can manually go compare how your security looked today compared to how it was uh, weeks back or months back. In general there's fact boxes, role centers, statistics, promotions and a lot of intelligent drill downs. A, a very nice application for maintaining security in, uh, for simple uh, security. For the roles and permission, there's uh, several uh, options. Uh, you can record table data permissions and you can use either the SQL profiler or you can use a SQL profiler express that is a shareware product um, or freeware product. You can download it from virtual.com site and use that one for the recording if you don't have an additional license for the SQL database for doing the recording. The recording of table data is by default for the completely free product limits it to a certain range of objects and by completing the registration you actually open it up and um, allow to record table data for any uh, object in your database. It will be base NAV, it can be an add-on or it will be your customizations. It also allows you to add related permission. It basically means like if you have insert rights to a table, you need to have read permission for all table relations. And uh, that's what the adding of related permissions is doing. So for example at the customer table, if you can insert a customer or modify a customer, you should also be able to actually read the payment terms, uh, the customer price groups and things like that. One, It really makes recording a lot easier because you don't have to go through every little drill down to get the additional permission. The import worksheet for roles uh, and permission allow you a very easy way to move from a test system to a live system, have a partner send you updates, even an ISV that have developed an add-on solution can send you roles and updates to existing roles, new roles can be imported uh, into your database. It allows you to create, skip, replace, merge, add new permissions or identify that the role is actually identical. So it really works very similar to um, the object import where you also have the ability to skip or replace or merge the individual objects as you actually see them before you make any changes to a database. And that's really the whole issue here. You don't have make any changes before you have confirmed it in the import worksheet and it will then be possible to add the whole roles. You can also combine multiple permission from roles. So if you have the whole sales receivable area, Microsoft deliver around 10 roles in that area. If you want to combine all that into one called sales, then you can actually use that function to simply go through and select all the roles and it will combine all the permissions that can't be done with copy paste because a lot of the records are the same. There's just different um, permission levels in them. For roles you can also go ahead and restore from the snapshots and the snapshot size is a 
very nice uh, way of saving off your permission. So if you make a mistake with a role, you can always go in and say, oh, I want to bring these permission back as that you were directly from the snapshot. And you can have multiple snapshots in the database, so you can keep one from three months ago, you can have one before you start modifying and things like that one. Logins, uh, that's both database logins and Windows logins, can be maintained with the Easy Security Light also. There's several tools to it. One is a wizard to add multiple access controls. Well, you normally have to go by one role, one company, another role, same company, and then switch to the next company that can be very time consuming. When you have many combination of roles and companies, there's a wizard where you simply select all the roles and you select all the companies through the wizard, and then at the end they come up with a status and saying there's uh, 16 roles you want to add. Um, three of them already exist, do you want to add the 13 and then you click OK and it actually have added all those roles. You can also copy access controls from another user. You can both copy with replace but you can also copy with merge. Um, so if you have some users that need to have the same permission, you modify one of them and then you go copy to all the other ones to have the same permission. If you have a user that needs the same permission as another person but a little extra, you can then use the merge function where you simply go ahead and add the new permission you added to the other user also uh, at that time. Same way as you could with roles, you can also restore access controls uh, from a snapshot. So you can basically go in and uh, take a role and say, oh, I want to bring that person back to how it was 14 days ago and you just restore the access control then from the snapshot uh, directly into the login after that. Easy Security Lite is available for 3.6 executable later and it works with all application versions. So even if you're running a very old application, that's no problem at all. It's only new objects, so there's no merge required. You can just import and you're ready to use the objects. It's currently available in eight languages um, and uh, the product is available for free. Both Microsoft and uh, MerchTool.com deliver the products uh, at no charge. It will require an update to your license where you actually add the module uh, 40,123,010. It's called NAV Easy Security Lite. A NAV partner can add that to any um, license and Microsoft won't charge a registration fee for that uh, process either. It can also, in some scenarios, be used with the Kronos license. Uh, if the company is called Kronos, it's a possibility to test out the application even without having anything added to your license. Just import the objects in the Kronos database and you can basically work with it after that. If you decide to register the product, it's not required at all. It will remove the limitation on the recording and that's the only difference between the free product and the registered product that there's a limitation on table data. So it only records from table 1 to 50 and from 10,000 to 99,000. Um, that range coincides with some of the standard tables that are very often touched, but the 10,000 to 99,000 is all the localizations and all the customizations that you normally can do. So the free products allow you to do updates to the existing roles for all your customization and localized functionality inside NAV. If you want to do a new role from scratch, you would like to register because it will give you uh, the remaining base tables and all your ISV products and add-ons and everything else uh, if you register the product. The registration is done uh, from inside Easy Security Lite to begin with and you basically just uh, send an email and after finishing a credit card payment, you get a license or registration key that you enter and now Easy Security Lite is fully functional after that. There's no other NAV modules required so you don't need to purchase anything else to use uh, NAV Easy Security Lite uh, inside your database. If you want more information, there's a lot more on the MerseTool.com site uh, on the Easy Security Lite page. If you download the Easy Security Lite application and run it in a Kronos environment, there are several places where the help button is actually 
launching some quick start videos showing how to use a certain process inside the product. Uh, you can also request a demonstration version um, or other questions by sending an email to uh, info at merchtool.com.